Let me show you this cool effect that I just added to one of my high level websites. It's kind of like a blur in the dark type of spotlight effect. It's a simple, super cool effect. And at the end of this video, you'll be able to add it to your high level websites too. All right, so I am on high level right here and I'm gonna add this cool effect to the SaaS agency template right here. More specifically, what I'm thinking is adding a new section right here. And the section that I wanna add here would say something like, who is this for? And then have three different options and then as the user hovers over each of the different options the effect will take place the first thing that i want to do is add a one column row which will be my headline and in this case since i already have this headline right here what i'm going to do is duplicate this right here move it up just like this and then replace the text so let me just do that very quickly i've added my headline and subheadline, and let's imagine that for my SaaS, i'm targeting digital entrepreneurs course creators and agency owners and what i want to do is display this in a cool way what i'm going to do now is add another column just like this and this one will have three different columns each column for the different avatar that i want to go after so the first thing that i'm going to do is add a headline just like this of course this is hard to read so let me just go ahead and change this to white right here and here i'm going to type digital entrepreneur i want to make it so that each of my cards will be a little bit bigger so let me just do that very quickly let's do 40 here at the top and then maybe like 100 here at the bottom just like this something else that i'm going to do is add some more margin i want to make it so that these uh, columns are spaced out so i'm going to click this right here and hit 10 pixels on this side and then 10 pixels on this side as well the last thing that i'm going to do is add a background image so in this case i'm going to click this right here and let's pretend that the image that i wanted to add is this one just like this of course let me make sure that this is full center now that i've added the image and i spent some time styling this what i'm going to do is actually get rid of these two right here and since i already spent quite some time styling it what i'm going to do is duplicate it twice just like this and my second niche right here would be course creators and my third one would be agency owners. Let me go ahead and change the photos right here and then I'll show you how to do the cool effect. Now that I've swapped the images, what I'm gonna do is click on the first column right here, go to advanced and then here for the custom class, I'm gonna type blur effect card, hit enter and then do the same for this card right here. So again, in advance, paste the custom class just like this, and then for this one very quickly. Now I need to go to the container that is holding all of these different columns. So in this case for me is this row right here, go to advance, and then the class that we need to add here is blur effect container. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, hit enter. And finally, to add this effect, we're gonna use some custom code. So I'm gonna click this right here. If you don't have any custom code, this will be blank. In my case, let me open up some space for myself right here. If you already have my notion, Doc, I've added tutorial 2.8 right here, how to add a focused blur on hover effect. If you don't have my doc or you don't know what it is, this is the resource that I use every day to build better websites for myself, for my clients. Think of it like cheat codes for go high level websites. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and click the 2.8 right here. And we've already done all of these steps right here. So in step three, what I'm gonna do is copy this code just like this, go back to high level. And in this case, I'm gonna paste it here. And now the effect will work. Let me go ahead and preview so you see how it looks like on the entire screen. So this is the website. You see that when I start scrolling, I have different sections. Very cool. And when I get to this section right here, first of all, it looks very clean, very eye-catchy, and it identifies exactly who this SaaS is for. When I hover over my mouse, it makes it so that I focus my attention specifically right here. And you could make it so that you add a button. And in this case, if I was an agency owner, if I hit this button, it would take me to a funnel or a specific page designed specifically for me. But anyways, in this case, it's just a cool way to display who I help. You see that when I hover over this right here, there's two things that happen. The first is that this image becomes bigger. And the second thing is that if I hover over this column right here, of course, the other images become blurry, but they also become a little bit smaller, creating like a very cool spotlight effect, just like you see right here. I'm going to go back to high level. And let's say that I wanted to add another card. Let's say I wanted to go after a different niche. What I can do very simply is go down here, duplicate this. And then once I've done that, I can literally replace this very easily. So let me just go ahead and add this right here and select, for instance, photo photographers just like this type here photographers I've added this right here and I see that this one is a little bit bigger so what you could do is click this right here and select allow rows to take the entire width and now if I preview this right here you'll see that this looks very clean so again I scroll down to that section it looks very very beautiful and I can hover over each of the different cards making it so that on our website 
we direct the focus of the prospect to a specific feature or plan or service that we want to outline. Now you can add this to your high level website as well to make sure it bits the competition and it stands out. If you're somebody that builds websites on high level, whether it's for yourself or for clients, and you wanna have all of these cool effects that I'm kind of showing you in these videos, this research will literally take your high level websites to the next level, even if you don't know any code at all. So click the link in the description and get your own copy.